Let's do one more once over, and I'm pretty sure that's everything I can investigate. Yeah, oh, f turn off the lighter, bro. Oh my god, how do I turn it off, Dane? You just had it off. It turns on automatically. I didn't do this. There you go. That's nice. keeping my lighter <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, hello. Maybe there's something behind it. Hmm. Oh, nifty. Okay, what do we got here? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Mmm. Yep, time to listen to the cylinders. I do love... I do love that. Listening to cylinders to hear, like, the crazy alien shit. I liked that in A Whisper in the Darkness. That was a good touch. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Mm -hmm. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Wow, look at that. Going in real deep into the lore. I mean, a little all over the place, but hey. This is the section to make all of the book nerds uh, geek out. Who knew? The library. Hmm. Yeah. These Tibetan writings were... These Tibetan writings are at the origin of the Isotentric movement. He already said that. The creator of philosophy extensively on the text of those no as Okay, yeah, nothing really. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do believe that is everything. all lights up as I walk by. Oh, like, uh, hey! <laughs> Alright, now where is your cylinder player? Did you... There's not in this room. Did you see a cylinder player? I don't know what a cylinder player looks like. There it is. Alright. <clears throat> cylinder number one. Uh, let's start. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Uh huh. Okay. He thinks that shit back there is the grail. Okay. All right, well. Oh god. Burning my fingers here. I finally understood that we were <laughs> only pieces on the yep. sword of the god. He learned nothing. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. Okay. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Mm. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Is he really going to be like, I set up a chessboard to be part of this fucking puzzle? Mm-hmm. He absolutely did. Shithead. Uh, God damn it. Dear friend, <laughs> I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seems particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. I thought this was Call of Cthulhu, not the idiot dreamer who keeps the universe alive. Well, he says volume. So, we got three cylinders. Yep. First one, the guy was talking about the rubies. Second one, the guy's talking about something to do with I the fucking... I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard board of the gods. Yep. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. I'm assuming there's three numbers you need for the save. Right, so let's... How do I turn this shit off? K, L, J, J's not it. H, M, N, V, V... D how do I turn it off? Make it stop! Max! Hit escape. 
Go to settings. Yes. Control. Yes. Keyboard. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have far more information than I am. Oh, Middle wait. mouse button. Wait. There it is. <laughs> I found it, Dane. No help. There you from, go. No help from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So for the chess pieces, he's saying it's um, we're the white players and they're the black players because it's Lovecraft. Why not? Uh, one, two. It's also chess. It's also chess. <laughs> but come on, it's Lovecraft. There's four white pieces, so I'm assuming number two is four, right? Yeah, but it's like we have to protect the white queen, so I don't know if it's counting the queen. So it's either four or three in my mind. Eh, we'll find out. So it's either four or three. And, and the first one was about the rubies on the glass or in the cup. And these red rocks, like precious stones. Yeah, life fixed, set, set in divine, divine gold. gold. Yeah. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing. And the to third one, he just calls it secret. Volume Nine. So I wonder if it's just nine, and we don't even have to go over there and look. Right. Well, let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's check the rubies first. The chalice of knowledge. Can you rotate it? One, two, three, four. Say like five. Say five. Yeah. So, rubies is first. Chess is second book is third so five five three nine or five four nine right so let us let us poke it five oh no 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 five and then S is rotate. Let's do four, because I swear it's four. Although you're probably right. And then we're going to rotate to nine. Validate. That doesn't look good. Nope. So five, three, nine. Oh, damn it. Yep, you were right. Hey. Don't count the queen. Oh, it is. It's an, oh, it's the Necronomicon. Let's just read it. Nothing bad has ever happened. <laughs> I haven't gone crazy from reading books before. Books can't hurt you. <laughs> I do want a big leather-bound copy of the Necronomicon, though, at one point. I want a t-shirt that just says nothing bad can happen from reading a book. <laughs> How fucking often that happens in D&D. &D. I know. Well, you released the fart. On the first page, too, no less. Good job, yeah, buddy. No, you, just, you just opened the page, like, directly to the fart page. Uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, you're back to Crazy Town. Oh, no. Am I back in Crazy Town? <laughs> Read the Necronomicon. Wait, Nick. A book covered in human skin lied inside. Lied inside? Lied? Fucking... That can't be right, right? No. Irresistibly attracted detective when he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Here we are. Into another body because we read the dreaded Necronomicon. Honestly, this is probably the best case scenario for reading the Necronomicon. It kind of really is. I mean, I've read it a few... I have, I have only heard of worse shit happening. <laughs> there is something to be said about... Trying to create like this interactive world with your fans. With your books during the time period you know what i mean yeah 
dude was a piece of shit and kind of just had some interesting ideas that were built off the back of Lord Byron. But he did know how to try to, like, cultivate audience participation at the time. So that is what made this an interesting phenomenon. Right. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. Uh, What's Dr. his Dr. Colden? Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. Ooh. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Is that the extent of your medical training? <laughs> I poked him with a stick. He didn't move. <laughs> I was. I just was. Ta I did an entire fucking conversation with him, and he didn't say a single thing. I sat down and tried to talk to him about today's football match, and he told me to. Well, he didn't tell me to do anything. He just laid there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Regarding the patient. What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. Hmm. Do you hear the okay. Do you hear the gender of our voice? Show me his file. Yeah. Yep, we're Marie Colden. That's not possible. Don't tell me Doctor Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why. Wait, was that I the person you. we met before? Yes. This man's ailment okay. has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. This really is the 20s, holy shit. Yeah, the 20s. <laughs> uh, what's, it, what's he treated with? Man, I don't know. <laughs> it's been hidden from us. Like, stop talking like a goddamn psychic. Just tell me what what is wrong. <laughs> he, I don't know. We didn't do any sort of uh, anything for him. We, he was just yelling, so we put him to bed. We did no toxicology. We heard he might have inhaled quote unquote chemicals yeah like i'm currently inhaling chemicals like, I, you yeah. need to help out here yeah i am currently inhaling dihydrogen monoxide you need to work with me a bit lady <laughs> what are his symptoms his temperature has been going down his skin losing its color his body rigid mm. I close sounds his like eyes he's dead myself. sounds like a case of glasses. dying <laughs> i didn't want them to dry out and I, I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. What? You did well. Don't worry. Yeah, you did. Let's stay professional. You, you did great. I, but please. I moisturized him. He looked so sad. I spritzed him with a spray bottle. And nothing <laughs> happened. I tried slapping him and then nothing <laughs> happened. I really took my day out on him too. Like it was I'm surprised. I'm a woman in the 20s. I have a lot of repressed rage. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go home skipping. Like, this, this, man, uh, this man should not be alive. Flashback to our main character. Is that why I'm missing a tooth? <laughs> She's just like <laughs> punching him in the head. <laughs> yeah, and she knew why he was out of it. Like She watched the doctor just like stab him with the, the injections of yeah. all kinds of crazy shit. I just love this the... guy. She was just like, well, let's see if we can wake him up. I really do. I really do love the mental picture of a repressed 1920s nurse just straddling some male patient and just punching him in the head repeatedly. Not it's as... like 10 minutes later, like just picks up like, his clipboard starts, like, writing on it. Like, her professional diagnosis. Bloody <laughs> as hell hands. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's gonna take some sort of miracle worker to patient, figure out what's wrong with this guy. Patient did not respond to treatment. Yeah. <laughs> I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? Hmm, not really. 
That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Well, he's missing a tooth. Um, <laughs> know anything about that, nurse? <laughs> let's uh, let's look at him. Yeah. Very let's, well. let's actually do a job here. Let's take. Let's yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's not just stand over them and declare something medical. You Get know. examined. All right. Let's check out his ass over here. Severe malnutrition. A swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Oh, doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Oh, okay. So this character right. actually knows what she's doing. Every it's just the nurse. It's j yeah. All the men have no idea what's going on. They're just going around on hunches. Okay. And the and the nurse. She's just like, well, he's just laying there. Yeah, well, she's just but, over, all right, great. She's probably over there being like, they don't let me into the library, so I punched this guy's tooth out. Thank you, nurse. You'll be dismissed. <laughs> His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips Abs and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Ew. Lots of ringworms. Mmm. There's a ringworm fucking party going on in there. God, this looks like shit you'd use on your car. Is that a milk bottle? Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they just Here's a big ass milk. Here's a big ass rubber tube. Doctor, my veins aren't that big. We can't go any smaller in this decade. This is Right. The... We're we're not gonna inject this into you, just drink it. It, it's just milk. But even better. You have it's... no idea what else to do. Doctor, are my veins this this wide? Well, they will be. <laughs> Hang on. Just like hook it up to like a bike An pump. unknown medicine. <laughs> Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. <laughs> An unknown? You don't even know? It has a label, ma'am. <laughs> I know all this medical shit, but I can't read the label. <laughs> Anything? Any other secrets behind me? Uh, anything on the it's ceiling? A the it's a 1920s. She probably learned by doing. She just can't read. Because <laughs> women shouldn't be taught, you know. <laughs> you know. They didn't let her. They didn't let her in school, but you know. <laughs> like one of those old school fucking like female, like professionals from way back then like better than everybody else in their field but everyone's like yeah fuck it yeah fuck you you don't know what you're talking about are you serious i've read every book in the life i taught myself to read because none of you helped yeah well we're also not gonna listen to you fuck you <laughs> now yeah. now hang on while i go investigate this hunch yeah 30 year old subject Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Oh, God. Smell. So, doctor, an opinion? Dude's I'm not fucked. sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. D Some of his oh, crazy eyes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy. What did you find? He has something in his belly. The state of his limbs is worrisome. He's severe. All these things are true. These things are very true. I'm at... Well, we've got an IV bag behind us with a bicycle pump. So, nurse, get to pumping. <laughs> we'll save yeah. this... His, his veins are going to be like 70% water after you're done with this shit. <laughs> and 70% wider. <laughs> like, it's like, do we have saline? No, we just have tonic. <laughs> do we All have, right, do well. We, do we have gentle IV tubes? No, we got these big rubber fuckers. <laughs> I'm just going to shove this in there. The state of... All right, let's start with he ate something. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten an entire animals. live eel. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. 
<laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. In a way. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. Uh oh. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is a doctor. Uh. Yeah, he's more of a stabby guy. Like, have you met everyone else around a... Look, from one lady to another, no one knows what the fuck is going on. That guy has been just arguing with that guy in the background for who knows how long now. I know. Like, Dr. Fuller, it seems, he seems to be eyeballing a lot of shit here. He, he's kind of like a, like a science is more art than science kind of guy. <laughs> Let's let's not go by what he's doing. This is more of the science kind of guy. <laughs> In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes, they can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. Oh, surely. Calcified? If there is a bone in this arm, does that mean like his bones went away? Baby. Yeah. What about his cranium? Jesus. It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings. Were you just like fingertips. hitting him? <laughs> what can be happening? His skull is I'm so sure soft. Like my my knuckles are fine. You yeah. <laughs> Her straddling him and punching him. It's one of those. You're right. His skull was like punching a baby. Okay. Now I have two How questions. Many... How many babies have you punched, and did you punch this patient? Ma'am, you are off OBGYN duty. <laughs> She's just, she's just punched. You're, you are no longer allowed in the maternity ward. I need you to, uh, to go home early today. I like to imagine that in the twenties, instead of the duck bill, it was just this lady punching you in the vagina. Hey, she seemed to have one answer to everything. Don't, don't make me get the nurse in here and calm you down, because we don't have an, an, an estimate. We just have Nurse, whatever her name is, because they didn't actually give her a name. No, it's just Nurse. We just have Nurse. Yeah, she, she is the Nurse. You don't want us to call Nurse. She's just... Nurse fucking guillotine over here is going to just beat the shit out of you. Could you, so you're better. Could you imagine going in for your for your OBGYN? Um, some people do it yearly. Some people do it as needed. already. I can't imagine because uh, I have never done that before. Right. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, and you're, you got your legs up and you're strapped in. And she just comes out with boxing gloves, like, all right. No gloves, not even. Just, like, no gloves. She just comes out with the, tape. the, the fucking chart and just punches you in the cunt. All right, that'll be $70. <laughs> Are we charging this to your insurance? What's your premium look like? I shouldn't be crying laughing right now but i am i'm so fucking immature i mean that's, that's probably as far as like <laughs> we're, we're glad she's not a dentist right <laughs> she'd be better as a dentist man she knocked that so oh you got a problem with a tooth well i'm gonna take out whatever the last man said to me with well, bam there we go no problem. all right you got a problem with the tooth great now you only have three left <laughs> one of which was the problem tooth <laughs> <laughs> taken care of <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> you go man punching nurse of the 20s you go <laughs> I, I just want to see her like in a different <laughs> uniform just like no sleeves just gigantic fucking biceps yeah. <laughs> just punching don't teeth. do not make us call in the nurse don't make to us... help us with this operation don't because she does she has zero chill. I have a scalpel. She has a cleaver. Okay. <laughs> it is such a 1920s thing, too. Look, we can't sedate you, but we can call in the nurse. <laughs> yeah, capital T, capital N, the nurse. <laughs> she's going to come in and take her day out <laughs> on you because she's a 1920s educated woman. 
she she she's real mad at you we are going to lock the door behind us and just let whatever happened happen and then after it happens dr fuller is gonna take the fucking credit for it reload the nurse for the next patient yeah we're just we're just gonna do 1920s fucking shit to her just repress it all up again for the next person <laughs> every time nurse, nurse catharsis over here <laughs> nurse catharsis wow every every time dr fuller wins a prize she gets buff i don't know what this is about you guys but better send her in to handle it oh she handled it dr fuller you're a genius <laughs> don't know why she's so mad <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know, like, this man, we needed to reset his bone, but she fucking turned it into powder. Jesus Christ. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. <coughs> when we <coughs> him, he's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. Recommended you dose of water? Me, but... <laughs> Earlier. He seemed to feel better. <laughs> like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. <sighs> but that doesn't explain his condition. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this really the next fucking step you're gonna take? That's the next question. Dude's not... mutating. <laughs> Dude's mutating. It's the only logical next step. Quick, throw him in the water. <laughs> throw him in the sea. Send him home. As He's a professional. Oh my god, Dane. 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 What? You know what he is? Do you know what he is? Cause I know that I'm a gay fish, gay fish, gay fish, yo. Alright. I hate it. I know you do. I hate it. It has no purpose in this playthrough. He's one of them screaming fish. <laughs> oh god. I physically clam. With the human species. <sighs> what do you mean? Fish scream. Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. The what? And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I mean, well, finally, this, this long ass Dr. conversation Cohen, is over. May I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? Literally nothing. How about what you've done to him? Neither of you have done Just anything. Calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I uh, he's really going 1920s. Oh, yeah. Patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? <laughs> oh, there, there. Are you on your period again? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy call shit. the nurse. Call, call the nurse. <laughs> call the nurse. Beat, beat their shit out of Dr. Crazy Eyes. <laughs> call the nurse and get yourself a good, solid cunt punch. That'll make you feel better. <laughs> if you don't have one, she'll make one. She'll make one. <laughs> If you've got a dick, you'll have a cunt by the time you're out of here, mate. All right. Uh, uh, um. You're turning him into a monster. Well, we have seen stuff like this. That's why we're mad at you. So let's jump with... Literally got this. Yeah. I've seen suction cups on his fingers. Ew. His falling body temperature. His dehydration. Turning him into Squid Boy. Had I read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of... an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. 
It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. I actually really liked how that was dealt with. Threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. Yeah. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. Well, that yeah, was a bit heavy here. Can't we do anything? Is there yeah. no evidence of his crimes? Okay, we had a lot of subtext with him being like, all right, look. Oh, yeah? Tell me. Oh, you figured it out? Go, please, tell someone. I'll sit back and laugh, lady. It's the 20s, and I'm a man. Ha 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 ha. And it was like, oh, right, very not Love the subtlety there. And then she just turns and looks at the other woman in the room and explains what just happened. So do you know what sexism is? No, explain it. Please, tell me. Woman explains sexism to another woman. This, oh, God. God, that part was unnecessary. Nurse catharsis. Nurse catharsis. You will never believe what happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only reason it's that bad is because we just spent like 10 minutes hyping her up. As, as, nurse, nurse, as catharsis. nurse catharsis, yeah. And then, like, casual sexism happens in front of her, and we're like, Nurse Catharsis would never fucking take this shit. <laughs> she would feed him his own fucking teeth. No, she wouldn't. She'd wait for the next patient to show up and then feed them their teeth. Because <laughs> she <laughs> needs to keep a career. She's a harmacist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, hidden files are proof. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to Let's find go steal it. <laughs> and where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mum. <laughs> I ain't a fucking snitch. If there's one thing Nurse Catharsis isn't, she's no snitch. <laughs> Oh. All okay, right. Now we can actually move. Okay, we can the move. First time in like half an hour. Yeah. Hey. Well, it wasn't a half. It wasn't meant to be a half hour cut scene, but I, we, we kept fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that man just had like the longest fucking conversation with a boat captain anybody has ever had with a boat captain. Yeah. <laughs> is this. Oh, oh no. okay. I was about to say, is this. Is this a. This looks. It's the exact same one. Yeah. Do they just reuse the assets, or are we fight, or are we hide from shambles? This again? place draws you in and never lets you go. I think we're. Fu I can't open it, so I, I assume we're reusing assets. But okay, this might be a shambles. Hopefully. This might be a shambles fight. All right, so let's. You're pulling my leg. Mm? I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again, uh, and she still says nothing uh, to that old witch, Donovan. Um. <laughs> Listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> um, and the is this the same no. character model twice? It looks you like it. Dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Uh. Okay. Are you too real? I mean, we are we are currently mid like horrific visions from reading the Necronomicon, so yeah, hard to say. Uh, oh, same room. Same room. Okay. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who did it. I don't know what to do. Still... Men's bathroom. It has two doors. What? I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. Yeah. What a pest. This is That's what the men's room looks like? What? 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 Oh, well, it also has, like, everything to take care of patients. Where's the toilet? 
It's probably those little things behind you. These? Things behind you. Oh, there. okay. Oh, good lord, you have arm and body restraints. Yeah. There's probably a thing for us to crawl through. Hey, what's up? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Why go through her? Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Or logic. Look at the lady and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you turn off the water again? Do you or don't you want this cleaned? Oh, you do? I mean, again, we are in the 1920s. Yeah. This is the 1920s. Fair enough. Before before the invention of, like, any worker protections. Yeah, before the invention of sarcasm, quiet quitting, you know, all that fun stuff. OSHA. OSHA are just telling your boss to shove it up their ass because they're an asshole. Because, you know, it's the 1920s. The rats are eating poor mama while you're at work. And it's all you can do to feed your family and your somehow 17 children. Ten of which will die before they reach 20. Boy, what a glorious time. Ooh. What a very small book for the reference of medical science. All right, let's go rifling, shall we? Okay. And there's oh, si another cylinder player. Oh my god, dude. This is going to be a whole thing. This is going to be a whole thing. You know it. Another. Yep. Yep. This is another section, my guy. You know it. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Okay. Fine, then. I will, uh... I'll <laughs> just go fuck myself. Yeah, I'll just go yeah, fuck him. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. It's... Time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Okay. There is... This heavy item. That I can come over and just to smack you with, but uh, it's the 1920s. I mean, this, it's the 1920s, like, it's before, like, workman's comp or anything. You could just be like, oh, she tripped. Exactly. And be like, cool. As long as you hit her hard enough to where she can't turn around and be like, oh, she hit me. You can turn around and be like, are you sure it wasn't because, oh, what was it, like, a lack of oxygen or water or something that you... Had lady problems and fell down. You sure you don't just have ghosts in your blood? Yeah. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Oh, barbiturates. Good stuff. Yikes. Hmm. Why is everything, all these medical items stored in rusty cans? I mean, you don't want to... You don't want to sanitize all that life-giving oxidized metal, do you? 
That's how everybody got iron back in the day. <laughs> Just injected it right in your bloodstream. <laughs> or eat it. Or just drink that sweet, sweet lead from the pipes. <clears throat> hey, what's up, girl? We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. I don't know if you all are the same character model. Or if you all had the same paint can explosion in your faces. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Hmm. How you guys even have a stock means that boats of medical equipment had to come out here at some point. And I find that fascinating. What if they're just like making opiates on the island? From what? Poppy. <laughs> the fields of poppy that are on this island. Yes. This, the, the vast poppy fields. New of, New England. of New England. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> a very interesting book. More medical stuff. Okay. Wow, they, they don't want to give me... They don't really double up on the medical points. Once you got them, you got them, huh? Oh, God, hi. But you're also not your character. Oh, that's fair. Hey, did you get... You're a, already a doctor. Yeah, you had you suffered the, paint, the same paint can explosion. Wipe your face up. Yeah, I'm not going to let you move. What are you going to do about it? Stare at you. Make your hair do crazy shit? Okay. Oh God, I hate to ask. Gentlemen, hey, bud. may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry, Doctor Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know. We can't even see her medical file. You know what? Let's do. Let's dig this hole deeper. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. It those sure. Are just words. So we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. Yep. Cool. Hmm. Your mom's in the kitchen, right? All right. Let's get some chow. What are we serving today? Gruel. With peppers. Mmm. Curry? Yeah, it looks like curry, right? Kind of, kind of, yeah. <laughs> we got yellow curry down there. And the red curry is up here. Yeah, this, this looks way more appetizing now that I'm thinking it's curry. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> like before, it was just like, yeah, inarticulate gruel. Thank you. Another, there's, this is not. This looks very shambly. This looks very shambly. There's no fucking way. Oh, man, all the copperware. Mm. Hey, what's, what's going on here? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Is that yeah. a bad thing? Yeah, I figured it would be. Very unsettling, given the circumstance. Yeah, considering it's just one big fucking pot. And they're just like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just one big pot right next to the monster closet. <sighs> There's going to be a goddamn stealth section, isn't there? God oh, she's going to get shambled. She's going to get shambled so hard. Taking the, that hard shambling. God damn it. Everyone in this in this Lord, he damn... was born a shambling man. Yeah, everyone in this story was born a shambling man. Doing all right, bud. <laughs> How you feeling? 
Do you, you like... got some jam on your face. <laughs> yeah, anyone gonna wipe that off? Hey, what's up? Dr. Colden, he are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. Okay. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. Oh shit. No shit. Wow. <laughs> Just give him pentobarbital. <laughs> Going straight for it. So much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. I feel like that's more of an observation than an examination, Doctor. Yeah, you just having a normal one, bud. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? I prescribe cocaine. Call the nurse. Call the nurse. Let him, let him feel the tooth breaking force of her healing dark souls boss music starts <laughs> the big old red bar just expands across the bottom of the screen <laughs> those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt i keep trying to heal his wounds but he reopens them do you have a diploma as a nurse excuse me so take care of this man man <laughs> wow Everyone in this hospital is such an ass. But also, yeah, you're just like, oh man. He, I keep sewing him, him up, but he keeps tearing it open. Oh my god. Yeah, well, then put like one of those. Uh, put a cone on him. Yeah, put a cone on him. Like yeah, put a, yeah, put like, put a cone on him. <laughs> Another insane. Easy peasy. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Lemon squeezy. Uh, it doesn't look like an insomniac to me. Not at all. Although they probably put him on so much pentobarbital <laughs> that he is sleeping now. <laughs> you want to call that sleeping? It's something. He's just not existing. Uh, some level of, of unconsciousness, for sure. <laughs> okay. Sick. All right, anything over here? Yeah, drawers. Key. Free key. A free key. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. You notice nothing. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? You gonna talk to me? Oh, you're mad at me. Okay. How you doing, bud? Well, if your condition worsens, let me know. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Mrs. Sanders? Mrs. Sanders was in here? Apparently. Check her file. Really? What the fuck? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Seriously? When did this happen? This had to have been before the museum debacle. Right, we're not looking in the future. Yeah, this is a flashback. The file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute as well as the treatments administered to her. A handwritten note. <sighs> Psychiatric wing in order to provide her with quiet and rest. Okay... What the fuck is Miss Sanders doing here? Has just everybody been to this place at uh, least once? I mean, apparently. Let's look at your fucking sheet. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. All right. Ah, oh, the whaling station. I broke my back. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Yeah. 
My uh, the bootleggers, you mean? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. <laughs> they don't go on that side of the island. <laughs> Everyone in his place. How big is this island? Captain on one side, cat on the other. I just assumed it was just a big rock. Well, I've been to the whaling station. I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> The floor was all rotten, and I fell straight through. So you saw that. And that's how you broke your back. Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. <sighs> you'd think well, for the, you'd think for this we would prescribe morphine, but it's the twenties, so we're gonna prescribe antibiotics. <laughs> His pain seems pretty managed, it's, I'm just going to say. Yeah, it seems pretty well under control, actually. Hey, what's up, bitch? Dr. Colden? Okay. What the hell was that little fucking shimmy she did? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. I might try it in the mirror later. Try to do the uh, the nurse shimmy, as we call it around these parts. Uh, it's like piss shivers, but... The nurse shimmy. <laughs> the nurse shimmy. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Hay fever? Better, better get him some morphine for this hay fever. Dude sneezing a lot. Better give him some morphine. Doctor, I know exactly please. what. Please. Uh, my chest. Oh. Well, stop whining for a minute. fusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. They gave him milk. Deborah, come and help me, please. <sighs> His potassium oh, no. level is too oh, high. Oh, no. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. Sodium your hands. bicarbonate? <laughs> Yeah. Be sure to hook it up with that big old inner tube we have of an IV. Antacids? <laughs> Fill his blood with... Baking soda. Fill his blood with... Baking soda. He needs bubbly blood. <laughs> Glucose, insulin... Okay, first off, glucose and insulin. <laughs> and baking soda. <laughs> <laughs> this woman just mad lips the fucking diagnosis there. <laughs> Insert chemical name here. Please just tell somebody, like, if anybody's watching this, tell me I'm not fucking insane. And that that was like a normal thing to say. But insulin and sugar at the same time just sounds like you're fucking freebasing sugar it really does and then fucking baking soda for for funsies <laughs> in the bring in the baking soda my brain hurts <laughs> Somebody wrote that. Somebody just wrote that. Just being like, I'm going to fucking ruin somebody who just li listens to this a little too hard. <laughs> we're going to make we're going to make it out like Dr. Colden is the only smart person on the island, but she's shooting people up with baking soda and sugar and insulin. And insulin cuz we got it gotta double down like KFC taught us, man. <laughs> Holy we're shit. Just, we're just, cr like, I, I don't even know. <laughs> that, I don't even, like, that, that like, honestly hurt me. The... On a psychological level. <laughs> That's actually, oh, oh god, that guy just farted hard. Did you see that? I did I'm not even looking at the screen right now. <laughs> He's got his head in his hands. Just like... <laughs> Alright. It is... We're at the two hour mark, so that's where we're calling it, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I am... 
really confused as to the credentials of the 20s, but I do like the fact that they have eye floaties. Are you seeing the eye floaties in the in the screen here? Like you're seeing that too, right? Maybe it's just asbestos. Like you're seeing, there's like, yeah, there's all this asbestos in the in the walls. Sure, but then the yeah, there's that eye floaty. Yeah, it's probably just asbestos floating around, you know. There is another one. That's that's how they used to do uh, fake snow. <laughs> asbestos. They used to pump that shit into hospitals to help cure the death. Uh, yeah. What is just in case? I want to talk to the art of the. I don't want to talk to the writers of this game. No offense, you guys did great work, but it's pretty box standard. I really want to talk to the art direction, the art team, the people who did yeah, the anime. And shit. Yeah. Like, what is this? It's creating a weird atmosphere. But we are still, like, just reading a book. So it could just be, like, Necronomicon artifacting. Yeah, it could be. It could just be Cthulhu squiggles, you know? Yeah. That's a thing that could happen. Sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. We're going to call it at our standard two-hour mark here because I don't think Dr. Caldwell is a real doctor. <laughs> uh, doctor, this patient's flatlining. Give him an IV of Monster Energy Drink, stat. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to leave us a follow on Twitch. That would really help us on the road to affiliate. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the three channels that Darktown has. We've got... Darktown Max on Twitch, we got Darktown Max on YouTube, and we got Darktown Max Streams, where we post all of the Twitch VODs, uncut and unedited, uncensored and raw. Don't forget to check out uh, Protothor's channel. He does a lot of uh, original music, video game covers, and a lot of cool stuff. So don't forget to check him out. Otherwise, thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked it, we'll be back, not next week, because next Monday is Subnautica, but the following Monday. And, uh, yeah, we're going to figure out what's going on, and we're going to break into Doctor's, Dr. Fuller's office and find out that we were killed and we were brought back as a weird cephalopod squid baby. I have one more thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> right before we go I found the this is an actual thing but, oh shit <laughs> sodium carbonate and insulin with glucose works to reduce plasma potassium which she did say he had, his potassium was way too high yeah alright that is cool but also this article came out in 2008 mm. not 1926 or wherever the fuck we're at Okay, so, like, so, so it's, this... It's an actual... Like, okay, so she's a good doctor, okay? But the question like, is, she, would she know that? Right. Right. Like, maybe she's ahead of her time. Like, that... This is all shit that would be available to him. No, that is cool, actually. The fact that it was, you know... It, it's, it's actually a thing. It's actually a thing. And it sounds horrendous. But it's actually a thing. It's actually a thing. And I'm actually really fascinated by this. And I kind of want to know, um, since that article came out in the 2000s, is this based on science we knew in the 20s? Could be. That is that is cool. That is very cool. The attention to detail in this game is what makes this game fun. Because, yeah, I can see where the uh, where Yahtzee's review and the Escapist was coming from. It is kind of just like a walking sim. This is only fun if you're already a Chthonic nerd, you know? Yeah. If, if you're into the lore and the... Well, not even just the lore. Not even just the books, but like specifically the other video games and the tabletop. Yeah. Like, if you like to play the tabletop, this is... Like, you'll, you'll see so much of that in this. Yeah. 
no, for sure. So I very much, I'm very much having a great time, and I love the fact that they, um, the attention to detail here has been spot on. That's that's really cool. Fuck yeah. All right, but anyway, Anyways. thanks. Yeah, sick. I'm so glad you brought that up, like right here at the end of stream, man. Like <laughs> I was, I was willing to go to bed and just think that that was some bullshit that people threw together. <laughs> so did i i was like that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard and then i was like oh wait this actually this actually works and he's got too much potassium in his body this will fix that fucking cool that yeah. is so fucking cool all right well thank you all so very much for watching if you liked it be sure to leave us a follow on twitch that is what we need to get on the path to affiliate Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow for Shin Megami Tuesdays. And we will catch you all on the flipty flops. Peace out. See ya.